All right, guys, it's Jake with the NSB Woodsman channel. I'm back with my first YouTube video, and uh, today I'm going to be doing a review of the Pocket Fisherman. This is by Ronco. Uh, I think it's as it's a uh, as seen on TV product. This is the product that my brother got me for Christmas. Uh, I have fished with it a couple of times out of the box, but uh, uh, early on in the season, and the fish weren't quite biting yet. So today I'm going to do a little bit of a review of this product, and hopefully uh, it interests some of you guys that uh, like to fish but can't seem to get out there as often as you'd like, can't take your rods with you everywhere you go. It's a nice little nifty device that you can keep in your car if that is in fact the case. So stay tuned and uh, I'll be back with a little bit more info on the Pocket Fisherman. Alright, so here's kind of what it looks like out of the box. Comes kind of folded up like, like so. And uh, it's really easy because it comes pretty much threaded, pre-spooled. So all you do is click it into place and you pretty much have a functioning fishing line ready to go. Now, just looking at this, I did add my own hook and lure. So this won't come with the set when you open the box, but if you take a look, the handle has a little spot for storing tackle. And this is what it comes with, in short. Uh, and I did take out a couple of the items. This is a little uh, little bobber hook and uh, swivel. So you can thread that up. It also comes with a spoon, a little spoon jig, and uh, and I believe a, a little plastic as well. I took those out uh, just to, I put it in my regular tackle box. I always take my tackle box with me wherever I go. Uh, stay tuned for maybe a future video on what my tackle box looks like and uh, why I take it everywhere I go. So by a stroke of luck, I got snagged, and that gives me the opportunity to show you guys how to re-spool this thing. So it opens up very easily. There's just a, uh, a little snap right here. You just push down on that and it comes right out. All you're gonna do is give yourself a little bit of extra line. And in the tip of this, you'll see the opening to thread the line through. I'm gonna do this off camera and then snap it back into place for you. So I got the line going through the end, and it's sitting basically back in its spot, and you just click it right back into place, piece of cake. Make sure that it'll catch. And uh, I will re-thread this, or get a, get a hook back on the line, and get back with you guys in a minute. So word to the wise, until you're really comfortable casting this, I wouldn't be casting too close to shore if you got brushes, trees, shrubs, anything nearby. Cast out a little bit into the open until you get the hang of it, and then uh, hopefully you won't have the same trouble that I just had. I'm gonna reposition you guys, and let's uh, let's see if we can get one on video here. 